Hey guys, Penadaily here, and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. In the last episode, we beat the Angler's Tunnel and picked up this ghost. Today, we're going to continue on with our quest. We're probably going to... We're going to get some more secret seashells. We're going to get the reward. And then I think we're going to probably tackle the optional dungeon. But we'll work on that. Alright, so this ghost, he wants to go back to his house. So, let's... We need to head down to the beach. Basically, to where we got the... Um... Thing. Yeah. To where the the banana house. We'll start from there. Do you remember that uh, th rupee thing I picked up? That that rupee chest down there I picked up. Yay! Let's see. There we go. Okay, I'm I am deliberately getting as many rupees as I can because well, before I enter the next actual dungeon. No. Before I enter the... Uh, I was going the wrong way anyway. Before I enter the next actual dungeon, I want to have the bow and arrow. So, yeah, that noise you're making is getting really, really annoying. So we come this way, and we pull this. We never went past here. Can't get there. This is the ghost's house. Here, enter my house. Okay. This guy is, I guess, a Poe. Because he's got two eyes. Even though he doesn't have a lantern. Nostalgia. Unchanged. Boo-hoo. Enough. Cemetery. Take me. My grave. Sure thing. Now, the nice thing is... To get to the cemetery, all we have we don't have to walk back. We just have to play Mom, Monbo's Mumbo. Yes, yes. Go on. All right. And back to this. Do you remember that single grave we saw uh, when we were doing some seashell hunting? Well, guess what? Wait. Wrong way. All right. We actually have to go across here. So feather. There we go. And now we need this thing again. Yeah, it's that kind of... It's that kind of day. Yeah, yeah, zombies. Thank you. A jar in my home. Look inside. Bye. Bye. Hoot. It has been some time since our paths crossed, lad. You must dive into the waters of Martha's Bay to enter the catfish's maw. The closer you get to the windfish, the more restless he sleeps. Carry on, work. Yeah. And if we approach the grave... Ah, uh, how I love pictures. Hey, Link. What are you doing here? You want to know about that ghost? I'll bet he's happy thanks to you. Are you ready for a picture? I'll call this, I was very afraid. Smile. Why would you call it? Oh. Nah, I'm not afraid. I think that's kind of sweet. Okay. You jerk! Frickin' zombies. Uh, I hate infinitely respawning enemies. Okay. So, now we get to go back to Toronto Shores. Yep. Dude. Pick him up. There. So, we're just going to go back through the, back through here, just because. Still can't do anything in that one, in there, sadly. Okay, just move along. Yeah, yeah. Now the next, ah, oh, damn it. Well, it's fine. We'll go into the next cave en entrance. Which shouldn't be too far away. Nope, there it is. Don't even have to take any damage. That's pretty nice. <laughs> no. Freaking guardian acorn. 
All right, so, heading down. Come on, we gotta go back, basically, to the ghost's house. I'm, and I'm going to leave in all my walking because A, funny things can happen, and B, you should know what this game is like. So yeah, in the uh, manga, this ghost was named uh, Namakura, I believe, and he was the ghost of a swordsman who died fighting the anglerfish. I do think that that is intentional, because like I said, I'm pretty sure that it, that skull is a unique sprite, so they wanted you to know somebody died fighting the anglerfish. I don't know, maybe it was more, mm, shall we say, it was nastier back then. Uh, the ghost actually possesses Link to fight an enemy in the manga, and then gives him the reward that we actually get from the Seashell Mansion. Just sort of. So he told us to look in a vase, and we get a secret seashell! Yay! Now... Alright. Now we're going from here, and we've got to jump over this gap. You guys know how good I am at that. Alright. Let's see. There we go! First try! For once. Okay. Let's see here. Um, just get back to this, I think. Okay. Now, we've got to swim to this tiny, this bush in this tiny island. And we get a secret seashell! Yay! Now, we're going to need to go back to the key cavern. Which is... Is that Richard's Villa? Yes, it is. Okay. So the key cavern is there. So, yes, yes, I know. Yeah, the, this map is actually pretty nice. Okay, can't do anything about any of that. All right, so can I head north from here? Oh, well, yes, I can, because we can go through that cave. Yeah, we've been here before. Just try not to get beaten up too badly. Die, pig warrior. All right, so yeah, we can head north. Not dealing with you, or you, but the money is nice. Jerk. Uh, all right. Stay away from the zeros. Thank you. And we'll kill these guys too. Ha ha! Yeah, your sword can go through stuff that their, um, their arrows can't, which is always nice. Okay. I'm coming here because I want to kill these pig warriors and maybe get hearts. They usually drop them. Usually. Fine, make a liar out of me, pigs. Alright, so, right, key cavern. Ow, jerk. That's all right. There's the fairy lake. Roughly. Jerks. All right, we're coming this way. Okay. And if we jump... Oh, we don't actually have to jump. We can swim. So, swim up here. Now, you have to cut this from the top. And that is a secret seashell! Yay! And is, in fact, our 20th. So now we can go get the reward. And boy, do we want to. Let's see here. Okay. Off, off to the seashell mansion. Yeah, yeah. Just ignore you, jerks. Kill you, jerks, because you might give me hearts. You did. Of course not. Well, whatever. Kill you guys. Ugh, jerk. Ugh, okay. So now we go into the seashell mansion. My job here is finished. 
in the uh, 3DS version, they made this place a lot more chatty. And in fact, I think it told you what reward you got. That's pretty cool. Like right at the start, you've got a new sword. You should put your name on it right away. And we got our hearts filled up. So yeah, now we have the level two sword, which is very nice. And with that, we are actually gonna head back. Let's see. I'm gonna use Mambo's Mambo. And we're gonna head back to the pond. And then we're gonna actually take on the new dungeon. I was actually pretty close to that. Oh well, should have should have done it later. Uh, well, I can do it later. I mean, don't actually need that. But yeah, like I said, um, I am at, normally you don't actually need to do uh, this bit I'm doing now. But uh, I can't. I don't have this memorized. So uh, yeah. All right. So, and I want to show you how you know to do it anyway. So, remember the know-it-all bird house? Let's see. We only need 191 more rupees. Yeah. Well, not know-it-all birds. That's in uh, the later games. This is just the library. And, much like in Link's Awakening, oh hey! Yeah, so as soon as you have the Pegasus boots, you can do this. Do you want to read this book? Yes. New World of Color Under the Graves Five Gravestones. Okay, yes. Now, these are the graves, and the order in which you... Uh... Yeah. The... This is the... Not order. What's the word I'm looking for? This is the arrangement of the gravestones and the order and direction in which they must be pressed. So, one, let's see, two, three, up, four, right, and five, up. So, time to head to try with all your might. Open a new path. Whoever is worthy receives the power of color. I wonder what the power of color is. Pretty cool, actually. Um, but we'll, we'll deal with that. So let's let's go, you know, work on that. I don't know if I'll finish it today or not. I might. It's not a hugely long dungeon, but it's not a not a short one either. All right, up. All right, down. There we go. Let's see. Ha. And we'll get a lot of rupees in here too, which is nice. So hold on just a second. On this screen, if you note, uh, zombies do not spawn. Unfortunately, Gini do. Uh, so, just hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that. Alright, so just watch this Gini. Try and stay out of his way and try not to get hit. So, that first... Uh, also, don't get knocked off the screen. So push that one down. Ow. Over. Up. Over. Up. And here we are. And it, we should be okay. So, our colors are never the same. If I am red, he is blue. If he is red, I am blue. What color is my claw? Red. Don't tell anyone. The Fairy Queen is waiting for you. Our colors are never the same. Yes, yes. If you am red, if he is red, I am blue. What color is my cloth? Blue. Don't tell anyone. Do you have the powder? If not, you must go back. Yeah, you need magic powder to beat this dungeon. Okay, meet camo goblins? No. They basically pop out of the floor and make your life annoying. They are only, yeah, more magic powder, because, yeah. 
they will basically, they are only vulnerable when they pop out of the floor. I could use some hearts, no? Okay, all right. Uh, there is a, let's see. There is a beak in this dungeon, and if you use it, he will say, uh, make all the red blue. I can't remember exactly how he says it. But first, yeah, if you bomb in here, nothing tells you about this. I mean, I think there's a map later. Good, yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. Now we only need uh, 47 more things. Okay, so to make, okay. First we need to hit this switch, and then this switch, and we get the compass. So that's nice. All right. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, yeah, there are four chests in this dungeon. So go east here. Okay, that guy is a bone putter. And these things, those things will drop you, um, basically they will bounce you around. And every time you stand on one, dang it, you get up here. Come on. Dang it. Okay, come on. Come here. That's totally not what I wanted to do. Oh, come on. There we go. Let's see. There we go. You have to throw it from far enough away that it'll go in and not, you know, to the other side. And there we get the stone beak. The idea is usually that you'd get this beak and then go back and get the, um, uh, get, get that message about making all the red blue. Okay. Ha! You die. Ow. You die too. Fine. Be that way. Magic powder. You're gonna need it for a mini boss is why we're doing that. Okay. Money. Money is good, but I'd like hearts, guys. I don't know that you find any hearts in here. You do find a couple fairies, though. Alright, so now we can go west. Uh, yeah. There's also, there's bone putters and flying bone putters. Regular bone putters are only dangerous in that they will remove your, yeah. Uh, if those things, once those things go red, if you land them on them, they fall. And that's why bone putters are dangerous. Because they change the colors. But, yep, see? Okay, so now that we're here, now we're going to go north this way. Uh, just watch out for the bone putters. There we go. Don't bother dealing with them. All right, here is your clue. Make all the red blue. All right, let's see. I think we hit this one once, twice. There we go. Yeah, these these light puzzles aren't that bad. Okay, east. All right, try and kill these jerkwads. Ow. The, these guys, their Japanese name, by the way, is... Uh, I can't remember, it's, uh, but it translates to stretchy goblin, which they kind of are. So let's go north. Meet our first boss. Boo, I am no weakling. Your pitiful sword is no match for me. He's right. Our sword won't actually do anything to him. But... Ow! Sure, quad. Oh, jerk. There we go. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, nope, dang it. Ugh. There we go. You can kill him with the magic powder or with um, the... Note that he does not give you a, um, a, a warp. Okay, so over. Over. Down. And we get the nightmare key. Yeah, we still don't have the map. This is an odd dungeon. Okay, so. 
east. South. West. South. Careful. Okay. Now, we're actually going to go back this way and up through this door. And we have another bo mini boss. What a greedy fool. You want more power? A buffoon like you might as well give up and go home. Dude, I'm not greedy. I'm just, you know. Jump. Oh, yeah. Oh, the nice thing. Yeah, nice thing about having the level 2 sword. You have sword beads. He's basically a Hinox. This is the other reason I wanted a level 2 sword. <laughs> it's a lot. E these guys, these guys can actually be kind of difficult if you're not, um, you know. Uh, yeah, these guys can actually be kind of difficult if you're not, um... There we go. Alright, now we want to go west. Alright. Oh yeah, these guys, because, um, you can hit them even when they're technically above you, just as long as they're, they occupy the space with your sword. Okay, so now we've got this. All right. Oops, I went the wrong way. Mm, well, uh, let's see. We're gonna have to go, but let's see. All right. So first we hit this switch, and then this switch, and then this switch, and then this switch. And then we go back because I meant I should have gone north rather than west. Or, er, yeah. So, this way first. Alright. Kill things. Good. Yep. You get to die too. Good. Alright. Just lift. Wait, I don't actually need anything. Aha. I knew there were more of you. Because we get the map. So, now we have to come in here. And we have a blue. Hey, look, it's the blue beetle. Sorry. I actually really like that comic. Uh, well, I liked it before the reboot. You know, ah, oh, shit. Yeah, you can fall down those holes. Ha! That was nice. Uh, but yeah, I really liked blue beetle before the reboot when it was John Rogers writing it. You know, the guy who worked on Leverage. Oh, that was nice. All right, now we're going back the other way. And I might as well see if there's anything under these pots. I don't think there is, but... Nope. Nope. Well, maybe here in the corner. Sometimes there are fairies under pots. But, yeah, this is... This dungeon is kind of a thing. Alright. Easiest... It's really just easiest to go this way. And then he'll die. Yeah. Bone putters are actually not a huge deal. Alright. Um, no, I do want to keep that on. Okay. Oh, actually, no, no. Uh, let's see. Kill you too. No. Although, I mean, I'm right near, actually, you know what? I am right near. Sorry, guys, but, uh, this boss, I mean, it shouldn't, this boss is really mostly just, uh, tedious. Get down here. Thank you. But, well, and with sword beams, it shouldn't be a huge issue. But, meet D-Pond. Yeah, Degu Pond. It, you can really see this one's a beetle. Blue is safe. Yellow is caution. Red is danger. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to hit this guy with your sword if possible. Um, one good thing to do... Yellow is caution. Red is danger. Take your time. Yeah, no. Uh, he will knock you away, but, and if you're using the level one sword, he can be really, really annoying. That's why I got the level two sword before I did any of this. Welcome, Link. I admire you for coming this far. I will give you the power of color. If you want offense, choose red. If you want defense, choose blue. What power do you want? Well, I like balance, and I face tank shit, so yes, I want blue. The good news is, relax and close your eyes. You can come back here, and the mi while the, the enemies will respond, the, the mini-bosses will not. 
your damage will be reduced by half. So basically I have the blue ring. This is the only armor upgrade in the game and it's only in the DX version. I will now take you out. So if you decide, if you're like me and face tank shit, get, get this. If you really, if you're good at avoiding damage, get the red one. All right, so now let's see, what else can we do? We've got a little time. Let's see, I've, I need another 37 rupees. Um, let's go get, there's a thing in Canal, near Canalette Castle. Let's go get it. We might get some rupees along the way. All right. Let's see. Ignore you. Ignore, well, that works too. Ignore you. Ignore you. Yeah, yeah. Let's see here. <laughs> Jerk. Yeah, well. Yeah, those bombs, those bombs do a lot of damage, so it's sort of nice to have the, the blue tunic. Okay, so now we come up here. We have to go off the bridge in this direction because you cannot actually swim under the bridge. I know, very strange. There is a place to get out and walk back to the bridge if you do go in the wrong direction. But we're just gonna do this. So, and of course, you can also get out here and walk down there if you wanted. We do not want to. We want to keep going this way. In this, you do press A to swim. It's much like Link to the Past or the Oracle games, but only when you're in top down. You do not use A or B to swim at all in side scrolling perspective. Very strange. I don't know how you're supposed to get to that thing. I'm not even sure you are. Well, I don't know, maybe that tree would. Oh, right, I'm in the wrong. Yeah, there's no reason, but if you just swim around here, somewhere. There we go, you got a piece of heart. Press select on the subscreen to see. Now, unfortunately, we can't go under the drawbridge. So we have to swim back around until we can get on land. So we've started our last heart container. It's going to take us a little while before we actually finish it, unfortunately. We're at nine hearts. Because you don't get a heart container, of course, from beating the color dungeon. Why would you? All right. So let's see. I'm gonna go for a little, maybe a, what's, I'm not sure. I forgot to turn on my thing, but, you know, by my, um, I forgot to turn on my timer starting this episode, so oops. Let's see. Right, what else do we have to do? Uh, we have to pause so that Zero doesn't burn, uh, you know, bomb us. That would be bad. Okay. So yeah, it's time to actually start looking into going to, um, I really, really wanted that uh, thing before we take on Catfish's Maw, because that's where I start having trouble. All right, to actually continue with the game, we need to go to Animal Village. Let's check our map. You are here. And this is Seashell Mansion. And that down there is Animal Village. Uh, man. That's the Dream Shrine. So yeah, the, the Warp Hole is... Uh, actually, no, there's a Warp Hole right up there. I had forgotten that. Well, forgotten. I just... You know me. I'm I'm spatially challenged in some ways. There we go. Oh, I love full hearts with the... This is basically the Master Sword because there is no... There is no level 3 sword upgrade in this game. So unlike the Oracle games... Now, so way back, you remember, we now have a hibiscus, which a certain uh, goat said she wanted. Oh, you brought me a hibiscus. How sweet. Well, since you are such a gentleman, I have a request to make of you. Will you listen? Sure. I would 
want you to take this letter to a Mr. Wright who lives on the border of the mysterious forest, please. Yep. You traded hibiscus for a goat's letter. Great. Hey, at least we don't have to use it as toilet paper. I, I don't know that I will ever get over that. <sighs> Skyward Sword was worse. I mean... Well, at least in Skyward Sword, of course, you had the choice. Then again, in at least in... Um, and now we're going... We have to go... You remember Mr. Wright? Yeah. He's all the way up by the mysterious forest, so... Mumbo's Mumbo. Yeah, that and... You know... I'm glad they do have some sort of warp mechanic in this game. Because uh, backtracking could get really tedious otherwise, especially if you're like me and like to do everything you can. So this way, still can't... Son of a bitch. Still can't, son of a bitch. No, we really can't, son of a bitch. Okay, there we go. Still getting close. Like I said, yeah, we can't do anything in there. I just did that to shut the piece of power up. Okay. We're gonna need this anyway, so jump. And just keep going. Let's see. Up this way. Hmm. I don't think we ever went north of here. Let's see. Just to take a look. Okay, we got this. And a cave. And a guardian acorn. Two caves. Let's see if there's anything interesting in here. Oh. Yes. Yes, there is. I suspect we're going to have all the money we need. Yep. You got 20 rupees. Joy. Oh, actually, we don't have all the money we need. But. That's not a... I'm pretty sure that's not a piece of heart. So uh, that's probably going to be just as much money we need. Yeah, we could have come here a long time ago, but we just weren't doing that much exploring. Well, that's okay. Now we have all the money we need. 50 rupees. We're maxed out. Ah. And we wasted some, but since at this point we will never again need rupees for anything for the quest, I mean, they'll be useful. So let's talk to Mr. Wright. Yep, there's a and a letter came with a photograph. Sorry. Um, mm, she's so beautiful. I must give you something for your trouble. Hmm, well, it looks like all I have is this broom. How'll that be? Sure. You got a broom as your reward for Mr. Wright. But that photo was not of... Yeah. Well, you know. Yeah, you cannot break signs in this game. You get to die get to die on pure principle. Okay. So we're going to just go down. And we're going to go to, uh, we're going to go to maybe village, uh, and we're going to buy the bow. I'm just not going to bother with, if you want to see the stealing stuff, it's available in all sorts of places. And I might even, uh, but I just, I can't do it. I tried. So we're just going to go buy the bow and not bother. Um, and I'm going to do that. Also do the next bit of the trading sequence. Because. Yahoo! Yahoo! A new broom for me? It is, isn't it? Absolutely. Okay. In return, you can have this fishing hook I found when I swept by the riverbank. Why were you? Never mind. What will the fishing hook become? Nothing for a little bit, because that's that's kind of far away. So let's go to the shop and buy the bow and arrow. Because it's going to be extremely useful for the next dungeon. It would also be extremely useful for fighting D-Pawn, but... Yep, bye. Thanks a lot, and come again. Probably not. Not unless I need bombs. But on that note, we're going to call it for now. So, thank you guys for joining me for Let's Play Final Fantasy. <laughs> Final, damn it! Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, and I will see you next time. Have a great evening. Goodbye.